What's up, my YouTube family? Sergeant Greybeard with the Gaming Brigade back with another Division 2 video. Today is Tuesday, August 24th, and as always, I hope this message finds you healthy and safe. In today's video, my friends, I'll be going over the weekly vendor reset for DC, New York, and the Dark Zone. I'll be talking about the new global event that begins today, as well as a few friendly reminders I feel you should be doing every Tuesday. Now, as always, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. We would love for you to be a part of our gaming family and if you enjoyed this or found it helpful at all take a quick second and hit that like button it really does help us out finally as most of you know we have giveaways here and our current one is for an xbox series s and all you need to do to enter is either subscribe here or follow us on twitter either way is fine the winner will be announced on october 2nd of this year and once again to clarify you do not need to join as a member to enter the contest we do have monthly prizes for membership however for the Xbox giveaway. All you need to do is subscribe or follow on Twitter. With that being said, let's get into today's video. So as most of you know by now, the final global event for this seasonal replay begins today. It's Guardians, and during these events, you can earn stars, and with those stars, you can purchase different caches, so it happens to be a really good time to earn some really, really good loot in the game. Now, for those of you that may be new to the game or you're just returning, I want to make sure I mention a few things really quick in regards to the global event. First of all, you have to turn it on. If it is not turned on, you will not be earning any stars or any progress towards the actual tiers that you can progress in. You can see here from this page, all you do is push X to activate the global event. You'll see the timer reset and then you're good to go. And keep in mind, anytime you want to turn this thing off and on, you can. So it is totally up to you when you play it. Now, there happen to be two ways you can earn stars in the game. You have these daily challenges, which, by the way, let's say if you don't finish the day one challenge, you can always go back and try to complete it at another day. And secondly, you will also gain a star for every shade level that you gain while the event is active. Now, what I'll be doing tomorrow is I'll be putting out a video showing you my favorite ways to farm for XP during this specific event, and I really hope it helps out. Today also happens to be the day that the weekly projects reset and it gives you three great opportunities to earn exotic caches in the game. You have the weekly summit project, you have the weekly shade requisition, and for those of you that have the ability, you have the weekly legendary mission as well. Now moving on to this week's invaded missions, they are Grand Washington Hotel, American History Museum, and Air and Space Museum. Once you've cleared those, you'll have access to Manning National Zoo, and once that's done, you'll then have access to Tidal Basin. With all that being said, my friends, let's now get on to the vendors themselves. Now, as most of you know, if you've seen my previous videos, I kind of rip through these things. However, I strongly recommend really, really take your time because you don't want to miss anything that could improve your character. As always, my friends, we are going going to start off at the base of operations in the White House, beginning with the sacrifice named body armor. If you do not have this, definitely pick it up. It does take a little getting used to because of the damage you're receiving, but it is an incredibly powerful piece of gear. Below that, we have a pretty decent SMG, pretty nice AR here as well. I really like this weapon. It's one of my favorites in the game. Wish it was rolled a little bit higher. Then we have a pretty decent handgun. Again, that one's kind of middle of the road. We have a backpack, some body armor mods and skill attachments now let's make our way to the clan vendor and see what they have we begin here with the forge holster this has been on sale a lot recently if you've missed it previously i recommend picking it up it is extremely efficient especially in skill builds things with shields things like that so again it is a must buy if you don't have it as yet Next, we have some hardwired knee pads and some body armor, then a striker piece of body armor as well. Pretty decent roll here. Um, yeah, I wish those were two reds, but what are you going to do? Really nice LMG here. Absolutely love this thing. It's one of my favorite LMGs in the game. Recommend picking it up if you do not have it. Below that, we have a really nice handgun as well. You're going to reroll that bottom stat. Next, we have a classic M1A, still my favorite rifle in the game. Underneath that, we have a marksman rifle, pretty decent roll there. We have another rifle here, again, pretty decent roll. I like that talent. The other attributes could be a little bit higher. Then we have a mask, I'm sorry, a backpack, then a mask. Mods and skill attachments. Now let's make our way to the canvas. Let's see what we have here as we roll up. We begin with the named LMG Carnage. It's a pretty decent roll too. The Talent Perfect Sadist is a monster, especially with uh, Ridgeway's Pride. Definitely recommend picking this thing up. We, then we had a Marksman Rifle, another LMG, 
Let's see what this mask is like below that. Nah, kind of mediocre there. May want to pass on that. Holster, same thing. Mods and skill attachments. Now let's make our way to the theater. We usually find some pretty decent stuff here. Let's see what we have this week. Artist tool, meh. I mean, it's a good rifle. If you don't have it, pick it up. I'm kind of one of those gamers. I like having all the named stuff in the inventory. So if you don't have it, grab the thing. Then we have a shotgun, another rifle. This is a good one as well. A lot of rifles this week. That seems to be like the go-to thing. Gloves, meh, kind of okay. Same with the knee pads. Mods and skill attachments. Now let's make our way to the first dark zone, dark zone west. We begin here with the firm handshake Sokolov gloves. These things are absolutely fantastic. Now, one thing I want to mention is you guys know I pretty much hit up the Dark Zone vendors every week to see if there's anything on sale that is Dark Zone exclusive that I haven't been able to get in the DZ as yet. However, one thing I want to make sure I mention is earlier when I was talking about farming for those stars during these global events, you can get named caches. And in those named caches, you can also have DZ exclusive items. And as we make our way to Dark Zone South, remember that can be another way you can get things that you've missed before. Now, obviously, if you see something for sale, you have those DZ resources, you want to use them, pick it up. However, once again, for those of you that do not like going into the dark zone during these global events, this is when you farm, earn those stars, buy those named caches, and hopefully get something you've been missing. Anyway, getting back to the vendors, nothing to really point out so far that you couldn't farm for in the open world. And again, hopefully you get some luck with those named caches. We are now at DZ East. We start with the new Reliable. It's a great LMG. However, for the, you know, for the, all the steps you got to go through to get this thing, I really wish the roll was a little bit higher. Below that, we had a Marksman Rifle, another LMG, Hunter's Fury Mask, Hunter's, or no, I'm sorry, Negotiator's Dilemma Holster. We have another Mask, another Holster, Mods and Skill Attachments. Now we will make our way to New York and the final two vendors for this week. And as I start to wrap this video up, as always, I want to take a moment and thank you all for your continued support of this channel. You guys are absolutely fantastic, especially during the slow time. Like you've heard me say, the fact that you're here watching this content sincerely means the world. Once again, I want to make sure I mention the fact that tomorrow morning I will be posting a video showing you how to really efficiently farm for XP during these global events, especially because, you know, they do change up your gameplay a little bit. So if you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the section down below. That should be posted probably at about 8 a.m. tomorrow, which is Wednesday, August 25th. So look for that. And yeah, on that note, we're going to wrap this thing up. Thank you guys so much. And as I said earlier, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. We would love for you to be a part of what we're doing here. If you like this, you could hit that like button as well. But most importantly, take care of yourselves. Be kind to each other. And we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone. Go work away.